the unchamfered tool takes a chamfer, or flat bevel, and creates a hard edge from it. Traditionally, there's no straightforward and quick way to do this, but it's very simple in Mesh Machine. Just select quad faces from a chamfer and run the tool. To quickly access it, just press C after opening the Mesh Machine menu. Just as in the unfused tool, you can toggle marking of sharps and bevel weights using the S and B keys. You can switch between the face and loop handle methods like you can with the fuse tool. I'll demonstrate the difference at the end of the video. In a case like this with only one quad, you can also toggle reverse, but since the reverse case is not actually a chamfer here, it's not guaranteed to produce a useful result and may even show an error message. The selection requirement is the same as for fusing. Select the entire all quad chamfer. I've talked in the fuse video how this is not an actual chamfer, and for that reason you shouldn't unchamfer this. Not being tapered, the opposing sides don't converge to a hard edge, and so the result here in face mode is not correct. In loop mode it throws an error. Keep in mind that if you ever run into an error like this, and so the HUD doesn't come up, you can always bring up the redo panel to change the method, and maybe get a better result without an error message. You can unchamfer partial chamfers as well. This will then introduce triangles at the ends. And in this case here, there are also two edged vertices that you should clean up. Again, this is not a true chamfer, there's no hard edge the sides are converging to. Here's another case, that's producing two edged vertices. If you are wondering, how I'm removing them so quickly, I'm using the cleanup tool in Machine Tools, which is available for free on GitHub. Now, if you unchamfer this example and switch to the loop method, the hard edge will not be straight. This is happening for the same reason a fuse surface will cave in here. Watch the fuse video, for details. The face method can deal with this just fine, but there is a range of possible solutions, which is where the slide property comes in. I'm creating some helper edges, to visualize what is happening here. If I extend the loop edges, you can see that they don't converge to a single point. But they do delimit a very specific range or possibilities. A slide value of 0, will sit right in the center of the two extremes. By pressing the W key, you can then move to either extreme by moving the mouse horizontally. <laughs> 